Welcome everyone, I had an idea to make a Guild Wars 2 playthrough series. For this series I want to create a fresh account, I mean a fresh character. So my idea is to play the whole story from beginning to end, Living World episodes included. So we're gonna make a fresh character right now and for the first few episodes I will also explain a little bit about the game's mechanics for new and potential players. So here we have the race selection screen and we can select from five different playable races. The first one is the char, which is a feline race. The second one is the humans. The third one are the norn, which are great giants, viking giants. The fourth one is asura, which are like little gnomes that are arrogant but very smart. And the fifth one is uh, the Silvari, which are plant people. For this playthrough, I want to play a char. So let's read the description for the char. The char race was forged in the merciless crucible of war. It is all they know, war defines them. And the quest for dominion drives them ever onward. The weakling and the fool have no place among the char. Victory is all that matters and it must be achieved by any means, at any cost. So what we learn from this is that the char love war. So here we can select male or female. I will be selecting male. This is the class tab. In Guild Wars 2 it's called profession. So at the top we have three heavyweight professions. In the middle we have three medium armor professions and at the bottom we have three light armor uh, light armor classes. The first one is the warrior, favors melee, high survivability and is a weapon master. The second one is the guardian, favors melee, supports allies and has defensive magic. The third one is the revenant, melee or range, ranged, invokes legendary heroes magic wielding fighter ranger favors ranged has a pet companion and is a naturalist the second one is the thief favors melee stealth and evasion acrobatic combat the third one is the engineer melee or ranged gadgets turrets and toolkits and is a technomancer then we have the first one of the light armor division which is the necromancer favors ranged, summons minions, and uses dark magic. Then we have the elementalist, favors ranged, has elemental magic, and is a versatile caster. And the last one is the mesmer, which favors ranged, creates illusions, finesse, and misdirection. So for this playthrough, I want to play an engineer. So here we are in the customization of your character. We can select things like height, physique, fur color and pattern. And then here we have options for the head like hairstyles. We can change the face. We can even change the horns. And for face details we can customize our eyes, nose and muscle and our head and ears. And the last option is to die or gear. So I will be creating a character right now. And I will see you when I finish customizing it. Alright, I created my character. Um, now we have to choose uh, different options. It will uh, influence our personal storyline. So here we have to uh, uh, choose one of those three options. My most useful tool is my universal multipack. Ego Eye Goggles or Panasonic Monocle. I will go with the Panasonic Monocle. Trouble may follow me, but I use my charm, dignity, ferocity to overcome it. I will choose Dignity. Here we have to choose the legion that we're from. I'm a, I am proud to be an Iron Legion soldier. I want to go for Iron Legion because they use machines and I'm an engineer. Here we have to choose a sparring partner. I would die for my warband. Especially Clasper, my sparring partner. 
They tell me the soldier that sired me is a loyal soldier, sorcerer shaman, or an honorless gladium. I will go for a lo loyal soldier. Now we have to fill in our name. This is our story. So I will name my character the Dirty Pirate. I am a char. In this world of constant battle, I am the deadliest weapon of all. I respect no authority, but the clenched fist of my legion. With engines of destruction, we have killed our gods. We reclaimed our homeland of Ascalon, and we planted victory banners on the graves of our enemies. Yet, if we waver, it could slip through our claws. Victory. At any cost. The Iron Legion's war cry can be heard in the churning of gears and the roaring of siege engines. I serve the Iron Legion. I build the future. I forge the weapons of Char Supremacy. I've earned the respect of my comrades and forged alliances I can call on in times of need. My legion values innovative solutions, efficient execution. Like our steel, we do not bend. Centuries ago, humans stole Ascalon from the Iron Legion. They have paid for that crime in blood, but the usurpers fight us even in death. Today, the combined armies of the Black Citadel will assault the ghosts that plague Iron Legion territory. I've been assigned to reinforce the Bulwark. Let the Ash Legion strike from the shadows. Let the Blood Legion die on the field. I am part of the machine. This is my story. All right, now we'll now we will be loaded into the tutorial area. So now we arrived in this tutorial zone. At this moment we unlocked only weapon skill 1, which is fragmentation shot. To unlock more skills we have to level up. The first 5 skills are your weapon skills. Those skills depends on which weapon you equip. Skill 6 is your healing skill. And the last 4 skills are your utility skills. After reaching level 11, we can unlock the first one. And uh, our healing skill and utility skills can be trained in the training panel, inside our hero panel, which you, um, if you click H, you will open your hero panel. Here you can see your equipment, um, wardrobe, dice, outfits, etc. Build, but we cannot uh, create a build yet. And this step is training. We need to be level, level 11 to open this step. And here we can train our utility skills. And we can place them in these slots. So we have achievements, story journal and masteries. But uh, I won't go into depth in them yet. Because they are not that relevant at this moment. So here we have um, this little tutorial zone which uh, let us do some mission. So we talk with this char. And then here in the right corner you see uh, like a guide on what you have to do. So Fury of the Dead, defend smoke stats from Ghost. So we just reported to Legionnaire Trosia Doom Spitter. And now we have to fight our way to the front. So here we see another character with a green star above his head. It means that we have to talk to him. I need your help, soldier. Tribune Brimstone has ordered me to the crypt. But I'm too torn up to make it. 
What's so important that the Blood Legion Tribune is there? The ghost of Duke Baratin is far more powerful than we thought. His army just broke through our defenses. Ritlock's about to fight him head on. If he succeeds, it'll be weeks before the ghost reforms, and we can rebuild our perimeter. On my way. Okay, so this guy uh, gave us orders to go to the crypt gate. So, you can also dodge in this game, which is a very big part of the game. I bound my dodge uh, action to my mouse button, to one of my mouse buttons. Alright, so... Um, as you can see here, we cannot enter the gate yet. And a dynamic event just spawned. Defend the gate against the ghost. So a big part of leveling in Guild Wars 2 is dynamic events. These are events that spawn in the world randomly and have various effects on the game. So let's say if you have an event about defending a camp and you fill that event, the camp can be taken by the enemy. And then till another event spawned where the NPCs are gonna retake the camp, that camp will be in hands of the enemy. So it makes the world feel really alive. So here we are just slaying the ghost so we can enter the crypt and help Ritlock. Okay, so now we can join Ridlock inside the crypt and fight Duke Baradin's ghost. So here he is, Ridlock Brimstone. Very important uh, character in the franchise and story now in the right corner you see a new event spawned kill Baradin's ghostly minions so we have to defeat his ghost minions and there is Duke Baradin himself So this is actually a boss fight, like a very early game boss fight. I think it's very cool that they did a boss fight inside the tutorial. So here we have to fight this big ghost statue to throw it in. I don't even know if you can dodge his attacks. So we kill them, very easy fight of course. And now we get spawned in the plains of Esford, which is the first leveling zone of the Char. I heard what you did down in that crypt, soldier. Impressive. Tribune Brimstone was calling the shots. I just did my job. Don't sell yourself short. You were part of the team that took down Baradin and stopped the ghost assault. Smokestead is safe now, and you helped make it that way. People are still on edge, though. It'd help if they saw someone like you making the rounds, lending a hand. The quicker we get this place squared away, the sooner the legions can get back to business. You can help. I'd rather have volunteers. But if I have to issue an order, I will. That won't be necessary, legionnaire. I hereby volunteer. Okay, so we completed the first mission. We get here uh, our reward for the Fury of the Dead, which was the mission name, a new pistol, 
which is an upgrade, a lot of XP and coins. So we also gain our second skill, Poison, poison Dart Folly, which is a nice burst skill, which also poisons the enemy. So here we just reach level 2. Um, the game gives, us, gives you some information like hero panel, stat increase, weapon skill unlocked 2. Alright, so this is the world. Here you see a scout. If you click on the scout, he will show you different Citadel quests in the map. Back from the humans. It's our base of operations for further expansion into this region. We're pressing east and north, facing resistance from the Flame Legion and an infestation of Ascalonian ghosts. The legions need every soldier so to do his or her part. So hearts are Guild Wars 2's quest. So here in the right corner you see the heart pop up. You don't have to accept anything. It's just when you're in proximity of the heart it will pop up. Squish spiders and their eggs. Clean up webs. Flatten worm mounts. And fill troughs with hay. So we have to kill spiders. And you can see the progress in the bar at the right corner of the quest. So, leveling you can do through hearts, events, dungeons, and the living story. I mean, your storyline. To all ground experience, but also things like mining, woodcutting, like farming resources, will also gain you experience. So, here we completed this quest. We get a reward, which is karma and coins. Karma is an in game currency we can buy different things with like the heart vendors will sell items Speak. for karma too so here we can buy iron legion gear i will buy two of those will give us vitality all right everyone that was it for today thank you so much for watching leave me a comment leave me a like if you want to also subscribe if you feel like to also uh, if you have any idea for my upcoming videos please let me know I hope you all enjoyed and I hope to see you in the upcoming story part. See you later guys.